one glass of lime water. Mm -hmm. You Google lime water? Mm -mm. Google lime water. Warm lime. Never say guava leaf good too. See, now get it. If I put it warm for me. Yes, yeah, it's a boiled guava leaf. Me always boil guava leaf. Green juice. What is this, mommy? Kiel. Kiel guava. Kiel. Me just build some in Alex. Kiel ginger and garlic, me give All right, so. Say, well, well, no, no, no. Kiel garlic and ginger. Bad. I just do <laughs> it's the bad. ginger and the garlic kind of burn, but the, I mean the kale maybe make it sweet. Kale make it sweet. Yeah. You want to see? You're weird. You, you want to see? No? Mommy. No, no Mommy. experience Mommy. weird right now. You're pregnant again. What kind of pregnant I'm again? Pregnant. Yeah. Oh, yes, bad. Ginger burn the garlic. Green juice. Welcome, 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 guys. Thank you for tuning in to Lexi's journey with cancer. I must say, before I even go into the video, thanks a million. Thanks so much. Thank you for the support. The support has been so, 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 so awesome. And you know, we have to give thanks to every day. Gratitude is a must. So, guys, I want to tell you thank you, thank you, thank you. So today basically I am going to tell you guys um, how the cervical cancer makes me feel um, in regards to the side effects and also um, I will tell you guys about early signs um, of cervical cancer even though I did not have any signs but I'm still going to tell you so that you can look out for it. And also, I'm going to have about three clips or so with like green juice um, that I have to drink. So, um, let us just go right into it. So, basically, um, since you know I wasn't feeling any symptoms before I did the surgery, and then since the surgery, I have been getting symptoms, right? So the symptoms that I've had is fatigue. I'm always tired. Um, even when I wake up in the mornings, like it feels as if I just run a marathon. So I feel tired, weak. Um, in some cases, it may make me feel like I don't want to eat, but I still push myself because the loss of appetite is one of the uh, side effects. So one of the symptoms, so I ensure that I force myself um, to eat now the general feeling of illness as in i always feel like i'm sick but i try to put out my base so you always feel sick and you know that feeling that let me just feel sick yeah um a little abdominal swelling nausea vomiting i have not vomited so that's a good sign the last time i felt like i wanted to vomit was the last time i went to the i was rushed to the hospital but nothing came up and constipation i don't have that so the most i have is like pelvic pain abdominal pain pain feels like feel as if you're on your period and you're having a severe pain the nausea the fatigue that's the symptoms that i have no um so signs that you should look for early early signs and to tell you the truth i did not have any of these signs or symptoms so leg swelling you realize that your leg is swelling um painful urination i have to write them down because I, I didn't experience it so me just can't tell it off of me here painful urination um realize that you want to urine very very often you need to check that out um, pain in the lower back or pelvic region guys that's a sign it, that can lead to many signs but once you're feeling lower pain constant lower pain in the back or the pelvic you need to check that out um vaginal bleeding and pain during sexual intercourse some females might feel as if it's not serious after they have sex you're seeing bleeding it is indeed serious you need to check 
check a gynecologist, check that out. Um, your menstrual period are normally heavy and it lasts longer than, than normal, longer than usual. So you'd need to, you know, check that out as well. Um, but yeah, now this child that is thick, odorous, pinged with a blood. Once you see that, no hesitate you need to go check that out and last but not least vaginal bleeding that occurs between your menstrual period and after menopause now when i say after your menstrual period say for instance you're just off your period and within like a week you're, you start to bleeding or spotting you need to check that out because that is not not healthy so those are a few um early signs that are there and I just mentioned to you, you know, the signs that I have, um, the symptoms that I'm experiencing now. So as I mentioned before, I am on pain meds. I am on vitamin C because my immune system is weak and I'm on iron tablet. Um, people might see me on the road and they might say, let's see and I look sick. Not because I am sick doesn't mean that I'm supposed to look sick. That is not the aim because my main focus is to get over this like maybe by next year i can come back and say guys i am cancer free i am a survivor of cancer because i know other people have done it before and you know this is just a trial and a testimony for me as a lot of people would um say to me lexi this is just your testimony and it is my testimony so um this is just a journey and as I mentioned before, we can't have thank you. Oh no. Thank you guys so much. I didn't know that I'd inspire so many people. Guys, as I mentioned, do your six months pop smear. Do it, do it. Um, I would say, I wouldn't recommend the hospital. Um, I would recommend the clinic. Go to a private gynecology. So even if you do it at the clinic, you can still get the sample and bring it to a private lab and test it yourself. Don't be in the situation like me who did it at the clinic and then it took about two years for me to hear that this is what is happening to me. So um, guys, thank you so much. The support has been awesome like i didn't know that i was loved by so many people i didn't know that so many persons would, you know sacrifice certain things to make me feel you know um worry free and and that is good a lot of persons reach out to me and say girl i love your positivity and i, I, I love how you're upbeat and to be honest guys i cannot say yes it's on me no it's not on me and that would be unfair to say it's on me it's about the persons who i am surrounded by um the persons who have given me encouragement even the comments down below those mean a lot to me and that is the reason why i have this high spirit and i am positive and it's just because the per persons that you know are giving me the encouragement and they're showing me the love and i i have not regret one bit putting out these videos because as i mentioned before in my other videos i just want to create awareness to other females i just want to create it guys do your pap smear it is very 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 important and i cannot stress that enough um it won't be a long video this time so thank you guys for tuning in just want to give you an update as i mentioned that i'm trying to give you guys um a video each try i'm trying to give upload a video each and every day if it time permits me to yesterday i tried to upload a video and it didn't upload until about two o'clock this morning but you know the devil is a liar the devil is a liar and i know that my god is author of truth light life and prosperity and positivity so i'm not worried so guys thank you so much for tuning in to lexi's journey with cancer i'll see you guys soon i love you so much please remember to like share subscribe and comment guys please please subscribe 
I want to reach that mark. It is far-fetched for now, but I want to reach it. I am getting the view, so that is awesome. But guys, please remember when you're watching the videos, just click the little subscribe button over there, so the little um, red writing over there. So and you can also click the notification, so as soon as I upload a video, you guys will get it. But thank you so much for your love and support. I am signing out. Lexi journey with cancer. Love you guys. Bye.